Peace, love, and light, family. Peace, love, and light. I hope everyone out there is trying to become the best version that they can be and vibrate to the highest frequency they can vibrate to on this physical plane. And with that said, my gang stalking story. Okay? Now, this is the true, this is this is based on true events. Alright? So, when it comes to physical gang stalking, right? These physical gang stalkers, they do not want to see you have nothing nice. Especially if they see you're putting your blood, sweat, and tears in something. Alright? So, boy, I've recently, yeah, my bad. I, um, about nine months ago, right? I got an expedition. I grinded mad hard. I worked all motherfucking summer, yo. I worked hard as fuck every day, all summer, saved up my money, and I bought an expedition, right? Nice-ass, big, white expedition. Got the car. For some reason, right, when I got it, there was just little shit wrong with it, so I got that shit fixed, all right? Got the shit on the road. Beautiful car, the best car I've ever motherfucking had, you feel me? So, one day, right... I park my car in my parking lot, not to mention I live in a building, right? I live in a huge building, about 40 apartments in the building. The whole parking lot is uh, cameraed up, surveillance everywhere, all right? There's about eight, nine cameras on the damn property, right? So like I said, one day I pull up, pull my car, I park the car, right? Go up in my house, chilling. Um, you know, it was like a couple hours later, I go back down to my car. And when I get back down to my car, I notice all of my motherfucking tires is flat, family. All of my tires, all four fucking tires are flat. All right? So I immediately just start bugging out. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? What's going on? And not to mention, I don't have beef with anybody. There's no reason anybody should come pop my tires. You feel me? So... As I'm looking at my tires more, I'm expecting I'm inspecting my tires. I realize that my tires aren't popped. Somebody literally unscrewed the little plastic thing and let the air out of all my motherfucking tires, family. You know, you know how you know when you fill up your tires, you got the little metal thing and you got to you know you put the air in, you got to connect the son. Somebody really went through let all the air out, like all the air out, like pushed the little thing and all the air came out of all my tires. So immediately, right, I call the office, yo, somebody fucking let all the air out of, in my car, uh, can you can you bring back the footage of, of earlier, you know, today, because I really want to know who did this. The lady's like, oh shit, really, she sounded surprised, oh, all right, let me, uh, let me make a few calls, let me get the maintenance out there so we can look at the cameras. I'm like, all right, word, how long is this going to be? She's like, it's going to be a half an hour, they'll be right out. And you know, I'm not really a cop caller like that, man. I've called the cops one time in my life when I was like 12 years old. It was a minute ago, man. You feel me? Motherfuckers was fighting in my house, and I had to call the cops. My, both of my uncles was fighting. I, that's the first time, only time I've ever called the cops. Like I said, I don't fuck with the cops, man. I feel like we could, we could, uh, we could police our own self, man. You feel me? We could take care of the our own little shit that we got going on in the community. We don't really need police like that, man. But anyway, I wasn't even thinking about calling the cops, but. The lady's telling me to call the cops, make a police report. I'm like, you know what? Let me see the footage on the camera first before I even call anybody. So, you know, she's making a couple calls. She calls me back about 20 minutes later. She's like, you are going to be really upset. But she was like, the cameras are off today. Family, this bitch told me that the motherfucking cameras is off. How the fuck? Fuck, the one day that some shit happens to my car, I cannot see who did it. They said that the, the cameras were not working that day, which is rare. Because where I'm at, there's no way these motherfuckers would turn off the camera. So, you know, when it comes to gang stalking and shit like that, it's bigger than what you think it is, family. This shit big, man. This shit big. You got, you got, uh, you got, um, property managers. You got fucking teachers. You got lawyers that are connected to this whole gang stalking program, family, and this shit is crazy because the fact that the fact that this lady couldn't even get me the footage from that, it just it, it sparked something, man. It sparked something, and it made made me really realize that this gang stalking shit is a hundred percent real. This shit is nothing to be uh, this shit is nothing to be joking about. You feel me, family? So you know, I got a couple gang stalking um. 
stories, but this is one of my main ones, man. You know, and if any of you have had anything similar similar that has happened to you, um, comment and let me know, man, because this shit real, bro. This shit real. And not to mention, like, after all the tires was off, I realized that the tires weren't popped. They just let the air out. I literally had to walk, like, a couple miles, right? Go get a fucking air pump. And I literally pumped up my motherfucking tires. You know how long that shit took? Because, I, you know, I called the tow company. They was like, yo, in order to come out there, it's going to be $100. And we got to bring an air tank. That's another 20 I'm like, a buck 20 Just the f- fuck that. So I figured this shit out for myself, though. But, you know, that was just a, a, a crazy event, man. Crazy event, man. That shit happened, yo. But peace, love, and light, baby.